Hi guys, I thought I'd um, do a bit of a review on um, the Virac HW100 uh, PCP rifle. Um, brilliant bit of kit. I just thought I'd uh, give my point of view on the actual rifle itself. Um, here on this one I've got the Nikko Game King, uh, which is a 4, I don't know if you can see here, 4 by 16 uh, by 50 scope on it, which is loads, it's more than enough. Um, it's gas filled, it's um, got the auto objective up here to help with your focus and sort of give you a bit of an idea of a uh, range finding that goes up in yards. Um, and the actual rifle itself comes with a Virac silencer um, which is it works incredibly well. Uh, on this you can see I've got camo tape because I, I go out hunting quite a lot so um, it just sort of breaks up the pattern a bit. I've just got a um, bipod there as well, Harris bipod which um, they're a few quid to buy but they're worth it um, especially if you're doing sort of a static shoot um, neoprene sling there because um, even though it's comfortable to hold with the f with the um, like pistol grip there uh, if you are out in the field for a few hours it is nice to be able to chuck it over your shoulder sometimes um, it's walnut stock it's a beautiful bit of wood on it um, it's really comfortable to hold uh, on this side. Sorry, just jump up a minute. On this side, you can see is a side lever, and then this way, your magazine goes. And it's a 14 shot magazine, really simple but really effective, nice and solid. And that literally slides in there and it would just sit in there then and you cl you'd click that forward and close it the action literally is like really smooth you could do it with your little finger kind of thing doesn't need any pressure at all it's really really nice to shoot um, and you know it's a good thing about the Virac what I quite like is that you can't double load it so if you've got your magazine in and you've pushed the lever forward then after you know if you're there for a while or whatever you know if you forget the states of your gun which you should never but if you do you don't you can't cock it again and then put an, like load another pellet into the breech kind of thing because it will only do the once until you fired it it's got a safety here um, which clicks backwards and forwards obviously um, yeah, uh, up here, this end, is it's got a handy little gauge there, tells you sort of your charge on it. Uh, it's good for about 50, 60 shots, which I mean, if you're going out proper shooting and you manage to kill 50 or 60 um, things, then you're doing pretty damn good. Um, here it's got the quick fill. Um, bit here so you just literally take this plug bit out to stop the dirt getting in and you plug your charger in there and fill it up I've got a dive bottle that I fill mine up off yeah it's 177 but definitely worth the money I mean this I paid about 750 quid for this um, about 100 quid for the scope but yeah it's a, an amazing bit of kit it is next to, well, it's pretty much silent when you fire it. And again, obviously, you don't have to wear some like the BSA Ultra where you have to, you'd have to pull a pin out and put it back, and then you'd have to pump it down this end to charge it. This literally, that is all it is, and then it'd be ready to go. Obviously, once you go back, I'm not going to load it now because one, I'm inside, and two, I haven't got any pellets in there, so I don't want to load it and fire it empty. but you just pull that back until it just clicks it just needs a tiny little bit more pressure and then all the way forward fire fire it's as quick as that it, it really is it's so nice to shoot and um, I've knocked down rabbits that have been stood almost next to each other I've shot one dropped it straight away from about 
30 yards, 35 yards, and then shot the other one because it hasn't even had the rifle go off. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely worth the buy. Um, if you don't want to sort of spend, you know, it was quite a lot of money, but if you don't want to spend like, you know, thousands on one, this is, you know, the best you're going to be able to buy. It's an amazing bit of kit, very impressed. And it's not heavy like typical Virac. I mean, it's got a little bit of weight to it, but it's not like typical Virac, like the HW97, which is amazingly heavy. That's this relatively light. This is a carbine version. Um, but also, again, like I said, it's really comfortable holding that. You know, you can hold it for hours without your arms hurting. Then eventually when you do need to shoot, you can bring your arms up and hold it nice and steady. So, yeah, if you're looking for a rifle for about 700 quid, this is definitely the way forward. It's an amazing bit of kit. Not let me down once. It's extremely accurate. I've used Beasley Magnums, and at the moment I'm using Webley Acupels. Um, had to adjust the scope slightly obviously because the capels are slightly lighter than the magnums but um it's you know i can put pellet on top of pellet especially whilst resting on the bipod as well which is you know it's cheating a little bit but you can yeah it's just amazingly accurate bit of kit um it does tend to like the bit more expensive pellets than the cheap crappy things you can get which then it looks like you've shot the target with a shotgun but you know, every rifle likes a different pellet, and these ones tend to like either the Beasleys or Webleys, I found. Also, the Air Arms Diablos are very good, but I didn't like using them for shooting. They just seemed a little bit too, I don't know, there's just, I think, user preference, but the rifle liked them. Again, nice and accurate, so, yeah. Um, if you've got any questions on this rifle, then just let me know. Uh, cheers for watching.